It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we do that again? Yeah, what yeah. would you really say? I'm Josh, I'm a fourth year Masters of Engineering student at, in the Computer Science School. Uh, last year I worked for the Credit Derivatives IT department at Credit Suisse. So uh, I found out this opportunity through uh, my work with the society, so they actually sponsored my society that I was chairing at the time. Because of all this work that I was doing around, they uh, really saw that I was able to handle myself. So. They pulled a few strings and uh, got me onto the placement program and the Spring Insight program. So my top three tips for getting a placement where I was, so I had the same great experience. Uh, number one would be being proactive. I, I was uh, initially rejected, but I only got the place because I was proactive. They could see that I cared and really wanted to bring me on as into the team. Uh, number two, I would definitely say don't let what you think about your co the company you're applying to kind of taint what you're going to do. Uh, I had no idea that what I'd be doing when I was applying to Credit Suisse. Um, I thought, you know, Swiss Bank, everyone thinks tax evasion and all the rest of it. I had nothing to do with that. It was proper technical challenge, proper problem capture. It was fantastic. Uh, and finally, I would say um, don't be afraid to speak up. Uh, a lot of computer scientists in particular, kind of engineers, they have a tendency to kind of sit down, solve a problem, but not really talk to each other or sit in a closed space. Uh, actually, what I found in the interview process, that's what set me ahead of everyone else. I was talking to the intern uh, interviewers and uh, we went. We actually went for a drink afterwards, um, and just try and be friendly and be cooperative, and they'll take you on no problem. Hi, I'm Josh Langley, uh, and I'm part of the Student Inspire Network. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share, and click here for the Student Inspire Network YouTube channel. Click here to see last week's video, and don't forget to comment down below.